everyone, welcome back. Today is an updated everyday makeup drawer video. I've been doing these once a month for the last few months and you guys seem to really enjoy them. If you have never seen my videos before, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube. And every month I do an updated everyday makeup drawer and I take you with me through my collection pick out the new products and then put them away in my drawer and then we use them to create a pretty easy everyday makeup look. So that is what we did today. If you're interested in those types of videos, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. But let's go ahead and pick out some new products and then we'll get into the makeup. So here is my current everyday makeup drawer that I've been using for the past month. Um, and it's definitely time to kind of switch out some of these products. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of here and put it away. I will leave some of these things because um, there's some stuff in here that's in my project pan that I'll probably keep in here. But everything else I'm going to go ahead and take out and put it away. And then we'll pick out some new products. pick out uh, a new concealer and probably one corrector so I just recently decluttered my concealers which you should have seen by the time this video goes up um, I am gonna keep my Charlotte Tilbury corrector in for now because um, it's in my project pan but honestly might put this in I just got this this is the Koki be Bright Illuminating Concealer in Peach. This I actually have only had like a week, but I really want to get a good idea of how I feel about this. So I think I might put that in as well. And then in terms of a concealer, I actually might do the Be Bright Concealer also by Koki. I got this at the same time as the corrector. It's a really pretty light coverage concealer so that would be good for like just really light makeup and then I'll probably pick one more. I kind of want to do Tarte Shape Tape. I was talking about this in my declutter video. I never reach for this anymore but this used to be like my everything <laughs> when it came to concealer. And I did end up just keeping the ultra creamy version in my declutter. So I think I'll put that in my everyday drawer and I think that's going to be it for here. I also just decluttered my foundations as well. Um, so I'll link that for you above if you haven't seen it. But um, I did get rid of a few foundations. I didn't get rid of a ton but I do want to switch out these products. So I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna keep my Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in because that's in my project pan, but I feel like I wanna put in one more. So I had my Bite Foundation in before. Maybe I should do this. I haven't used this in a while. The Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I haven't done that one in quite a while. And I think those are the only two I'm going to pick for foundation this time. Then we have highlighters and primers. So I had the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury in this last time. I kind of want to use this. I haven't used this lately the Glossier Future Do. This is a really, really pretty product. It's just one thing about it. It smells like rosemary, which I love, but I wish the smell wasn't so strong in this because it's really pretty. It's very thick, almost an oily feeling product. It looks really pretty on your skin, um, but the smell is kind of strong, but I kind of want to use that again. So I might put that in. I kind of want to put this in. This is the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Highlight. This is a really pretty subtle highlight, but I haven't used this in forever. So I think I might stick that in just 
to have a highlighter option and I think that's going to be over in there. And then we have my powders and sunscreen in the very back. I think I'm going to keep the sunscreen I have out for right now. And for my powder, I had the bite powder. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder that's in my project pan. So that one I'm going to keep. But I want to add one more, I think. Mm. I think I'm going to do the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I just can't get enough of this one. And yeah, this is what I'm in the mood to use. So I'm going to do that one. Then we have brow products, mascaras, and eyeliner so I'm actually thinking about putting this in for my brows I actually got this when I got the NYX lift and snatch brow pin um, I bought this but I haven't tried this yet so I'm thinking I might put that in with the NYX lift and snatch I've been using this and I've I've really really been enjoying this so I think I might do that and then I'll probably put a pencil in there as well. So maybe I'll just do benefit precisely my brow to have a pencil option. And for mascara, okay, I'm gonna do Rare Beauty. I can't stop using this one and I definitely wanna put that in. So I'm gonna do that one and then Maybe L'Oreal Telescopic. Yeah, we'll do L'Oreal. And then let's see, do I need an eyeliner? I think I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna be boring, I guess, and do my eye powder pencil. Look how small this is getting. I just can't go without this. I love this, so I think I'm gonna do that. And Next we have some of my lip products and the others are over on the other side, but I did wanna pick at least one thing from here. I kind of want to use this. I haven't used this in forever. The NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I kind of want to do that. I haven't used that in a very long time. Pinky one. kind of want to put this in. The Kopari Lip Gloss in Birthday Suit. This is so pretty. It's like a really thin, um, kind of a lip oil with a little bit of color, but it's pretty. I might put that in and anything else in here no I think that's it for this room. okay next we need to pick a blush this is always really hard I don't know why I have such a hard time with this I think it's because I love them all maybe I should put in this this is the Dior rosy glow blush so it's a really pretty kind of really cool toned pink i might do that and then no i think that's all i'm gonna do for blush and then we have lip liners down here and i think i might do nyx nude beige as one option Maybe this too, the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip in 3C. It's a little bit pink, more of a pink, rosy tone. I think I might also bring in my Persona Identity Palette. I'm going to keep Tartlet and Bloom, like I said, but I kind of want to have a second option. I also really want to use one of these Hourglass palettes. This was, I think this is from two years ago, um, one of the holiday ambient lighting palettes. I feel like these don't get used because I don't put them in my drawer to be used. So I kind of want to do that too. And then I moved my bronzers, so they're down here right now. I'm probably going to move them again, but for now they're down here. I kind of want to put in my really big Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but I guess I'll have to see if I can make this fit because it's so large, it's kind of hard to fit in the drawer. 
Okay, so there's a few things I'm just leaving in, mainly the skincare and just these spoolies, hair ties, hair clips, my swatch, color, my color swatch from Sephora. And now I'm going to try to put everything back. I think I finally got everything in here. It always takes me forever to do this part, um, but I'll just show you quickly. So I have, this was the sunscreen I was talking about earlier. I'm gonna use this one. I got this out to use something different a few days ago. I was using the Color Science one, um, but now I wanna use this. This is from Kinship, so that's my sunscreen. I have Future Do my Nanorite eye cream. I did add this in the Tatcha, what is this called? The Kisu lip mask. I'm going to do that. I have my foundations, corrector, concealer. I got this big bronzer to fit back here and my Milani, which is in my project pan. The Hourglass face palette, blushes, two powders, all of my eye products, so mascara, eyeliner, um, cream shadows, eyeshadow base, and my two palettes. This did not change, and then I have brow products and all of my lip products over here. So that is the newest everyday makeup drawer, and now we're going to go ahead and I don't have any makeup on right now, so I'm going to do a little quick everyday makeup look with a few of these products. So I'm just going to do a pretty easy quick makeup look today with some of these products. So I need to apply my eye cream. So I'm going to go in with my Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Tatcha Lip Mask. And then for sunscreen, I'm going to go in with the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen. I really like this. This is an all zinc sunscreen looks like this and it looks kind of scary when you first put it on but it actually blends in to your skin really nicely okay it's been about 10 minutes since i applied the sunscreen and everything else hi bill do you want to say hello do you want to say hello oh this cat, she, I try to come in here quietly and close the door so she doesn't know where I went, but she finds me every time. She hates being shut out, so I have to let her in here. But then she makes, uh, she wants to sit in my lap, which is not going to work, Belle. I have to get in this drawer. Are you going to say hello? No? Are you going to say hello? Say hello. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this out. This is the NYX, uh, what is this called? The brow glue. So I got this when I got the Lip and Snatch uh, brow pen, but I just hadn't tried this yet. So I wanna see what this is like. This gets pretty good reviews from what I've seen and I'm curious if it's like my beloved brow waxes. Okay, it feels, the hold already I can tell feels like a brow wax. Ooh, I think I might like this. It's a very thick product, almost feels kind of like glue. Ooh, but I can tell the hold is good just by brushing through my brows with it. So far, it feels really good. It reminds me of a brow wax, just with how it feels. So I'm excited about that, but I'm curious to see how they kind of set down, if they're like really crunchy feeling or if they're more, if you're able to kind of brush through them still. So I'm gonna give this a few minutes to kind of set down. And while we're waiting for that, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Vanish Corrector. This is the shade medium.
For foundation, I'm gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Futurist. My other option was the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation, but I think I used that in my last everyday makeup drawer video. So I'm thinking we'll use Estee Lauder today. So this is the shade Sand. My face is actually a good bit lighter than my body right now because I have on um, a little bit of self tanner and I'm going to blend this in with my Sigma F80 brush. A little bit of this foundation goes a pretty long way because this was just one pump that I applied to my face. And now I'm just going to go over lightly with a damp sponge. If I bought this foundation again, I think there's a shade, I think it might be 1N2 that's not as yellow, it's a little more neutral. I feel like that one might be a slightly better shade match for me so eventually if I use this up or I buy it again I might try that shade instead. For concealer I added two to my drawer so we have Tarte Shape Tape in the ultra creamy version. This is the shade light neutral and then we have the Koki Be Bright concealer in the shade number light or in the shade light. I think I'm going to use Shape Tape today. I don't know I'm just kind of in a I'm in the mood to use Shape Tape. I haven't used this in a long time. So I'm going to start out with that. And then I'm just going to add a little bit to my cheek area. I actually might take a little bit of the Koki Concealer too. And just pop that right in the inner corner. And let's see, I'm going to put a bit of that around the nose mouth and forehead this one um the koki concealer is a little bit lighter than the tart one so it'll just kind of help brighten up a little bit since that foundation's a little bit deep for me right now so i'm blending out the concealer on my face with my foundation brush i'm going to use my sigma fo3 under my eyes to kind of spread out this concealer and then I'm going to go over it with my sponge since we all know Shape Tape is pretty full coverage concealer so I'm just going to kind of spread it out and then we'll go over it. It's been a long time since I used this Shape Tape, the Ultra Creamy. I don't remember the times that I have used it, if I thought there was like a huge, huge difference between this one and the original Shape Tape, but I'll be curious to see what I think about it today because I haven't used it in forever. And then I'm just going to take my damp sponge and lightly go over that under my eyes. Alright, so so far that Concealer looks pretty good actually under my eyes. It doesn't look dry at all um, So that's a good sign, but first I want to set my face lightly with my Kosas cloud set powder and I'm just gonna lightly set my whole face with this because that uh, Estee Lauder foundation is very very dewy as you can see so I do like to set that one with some powder. And then before I set, I am going to set that concealer under my eyes just very, very lightly. But I'm just going to go back over with my FO3 brush. And then I'm just taking the cloud set powder under my eyes as well. Okay, so my brows feel very uh, set down. I feel like they're not so like crunchy feeling that you can still brush through them, but they feel pretty well set. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill them in. And I'm gonna use my Benefit pencil first. 
and really just kind of underline the shape that I want and then I'm going to use the brow pen but I'm probably just going to speed through this part okay so for um, bronzer and blush I was going to use that hourglass palette and I will use that in a minute but I want to use a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush bronzer um, in the shade medium because the bronzer in this palette is really glowy and the Charlotte Tilbury one is pretty matte and I feel like um, we have a lot of glow going on so I kind of want to use more of a matte bronzer kind of talked about this before with this Charlotte Tilbury bronzer but I don't reach for it that often and I honestly feel like it's because of the size I don't know something about a huge bronzer I just don't reach for and I don't I don't know I maybe it's I don't know what it is because this is a pretty bronzer it's a really really silky it's very easy to apply it's just I always find myself reaching for my normal size bronzers. I need to stop doing that because this is a really nice one. And so now I'm gonna take some on my jawline and down my neck. Okay, for blush, I'm actually gonna mix the two blushes in the Hourglass palette. I think one is Mood Exposure, one is Vibrant Flush. And this is actually the Flower Beauty blush brush. I just got this a few days ago. This is my first time using it. I actually had this brush a long time ago and I decluttered it for some reason. I'm not sure why because this brush is really nice for blush. I am, I think, just going to mix all three of these lighter powders. I think two of them are actually their ambient lighting powders, but I'm gonna mix them with uh, that one highlighting powder and just apply a little bit of that on the top of my cheekbone. All right, and something else I'm trying to, well, actually, uh, before I do that, I'm going to go into the bronzer in the palette, which is up here. This is Natural Bronze Light. And taking a smaller brush and just very, very lightly kind of going around the perimeters of my face. And just adding just a little bit of that bronzer. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to use the Persona Identity Palette. I think I'm going to take the gold in the palette called Gold Digger. And I've already applied my eye primer and set that with a little bit of powder. And I'm going to go directly onto my eyelid. And pack that all over the lid and slightly up. I'm actually using a Smashbox, um, what is this, tapered eyeshadow brush to apply this. And you can see it applies really well with a brush. Sometimes shades like that are a little tricky to use with a brush, but that one worked really well. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. And I'm going to go into the crease with this and try to bring it up into the brow and kind of connect it to the side of my nose. Now I'm going to take or I'm going to mix the shades Charming and Maverick. So these two matte shades, one is brown, one is more of a gray. And I'm going to apply these on the outer corner just to add a little bit of darkness out there. These shadows from Persona are really nice. They blend really, really well. Now I'm going to take the really light shimmer called Sassy. 
in the palette. And we're gonna pop this on the inner. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to go. <laughs> that is quite an intense inner corner highlight. I did not mean for that to be that intense. Wow, okay, that is a very bright inner corner highlight. I did not mean to make that that bright, but oh well. Now I'm gonna apply a little of my Charlotte Tilbury Eye Powder Pencil. So I'm kind of drawing the shape that I want, and now I'm gonna go over it with this dark brown called Fearless, and my 208 brush from BK Beauty. For mascara, I'm going to use L'Oreal Telescopic. I've used the Rare Beauty mascara in like my last four videos, so I feel like I need to use something different today. So we're going to use Telescopic. So I'm thinking I honestly might throw away this L'Oreal Telescopic mascara. I just spent so long trying to get all of the clumps out of my lashes. I had to use one of my little disposable spoolies and basically like go through and try to brush through the product because it was just like clumpy. I just cannot get this to work for me. I do not like this mascara at all. But anyway, it looks fine now that I kind of got all the clumps out. So I'm going to go in with NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. And then I think I just want to put a gloss on top, so I'm just going to use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And that is going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed another everyday makeup drawer video. You guys seem to love these when I do them, and it's just nice for me to switch out my products and kind of play around with new things every month. It's a really way, good way for me to use my collection. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will need to keep you updated on that NYX brow gel. I just kind of went back through them with a spoolie and kind of brushed them up again. I felt like they had fallen just a little bit, um, but this is the first time I've used that obviously. So I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts on that. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I hope you'll subscribe if you have not already. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on YouTube, but I will be posting every single day in December for you guys. Also, make sure to follow me over on Instagram at the same username, simply.blair. I will see you guys in my next video. Remember, simply be you.